What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today, guys, I have a wild video for you. Uh, something that Digital Foundry has come out, a, a new video that they came out with that has me scratching my head, but also a prediction and possibly a warning, a possible warning off of my prediction and I, I have a feeling uh, my comment section is going to go crazy here depending on who watches this video. Uh, I'm talking about the new Digital Foundry where they analyzed the new PS4 Pro. Uh, for people who don't know, you know, when, when consoles come out, they have kind of like the launch iteration and then as they go, they do like little upgrades and stuff like that throughout um, the lifespan of the console. And I'm not talking like, um, you know, I'm not talking like how we saw the PS4 and then the PS4 Pro or even the Slim and, and on the Xbox side, you know, the, the One S and then the One X. But no, they do little kind of like... Um, little upgrades to help little performances on a console and uh with ps4 it's they call it the three letters are cuh uh so when the ps4 pro came out it was the cuh 700 series all right and uh within the amount of time that it was released until now uh we are getting basically the second minimal upgrade console so we had the the CUH 700 we had the 7100 and the 7200 which is now the the PS4 Pro that is bundled with Red Dead Redemption 2 all right and now Digital Foundry came out and they wanted to talk about uh the sound of the fan in the console they wanted to talk about uh as a key improvement over the 700 and the you know the 7100 or they just wanted to talk about this newest ps4 pro had a quieter fan it is quieter you know when graphics rev up and everything like that it, it revs the fan up or whatnot and um they really wanted to push the fact that this thing was quieter and um with looking at the analysis they got about five decibels quieter compared to the launch pro all right which isn't bad i mean it's not a, a like uh you know run home and tell mom about it type thing we all know the ps4 the ps4 pro are loud the fans are loud anybody out there on social media anybody out there in the gaming uh community who tries to tell you different um they're lying to you basically all right they are loud but my 360 was loud last generation all right it was a really loud system especially the older it got i even got to the point where i was going in and cleaning out my 360 um you know to make it run better or whatnot uh but that was last generation so you know every generation there are loud systems if you look at the xbox one x though this is pretty much the quietest system i have ever had in my life now with this all right i i have a prediction here because they not only tested the sound but they tested kind of like the heat coming off the system right and when it comes down to it the ps4 pro the launch system is actually cooler than the newer consoles the 7100 7200 all right that that came that came out the launch pro is cooler and i'm talking about you know about a five degree difference all right and and for people who know anything about temperature five degrees is a big uh it's, it's a pretty big gap when you're talking about you know stuff like this in terms of heat and electronics and all that good stuff um and the pro is cooler so i want people to actually be careful i'm not saying hey you know don't buy this and buy this system instead or anything like that but with the information given by digital foundry and uh, again they are now completely in love with ps4 again they are touting the ps4 pro as like the console to get you know even though this and even though that but you know when you get into it i feel that the newer ps4 pros 
could possibly have more issues than the launch. Now, there was another thing that was stated when it came to the newer version, the CUH7200. Uh, they do have a new power supply in it, all right? Um, I believe before the 7200, it was more of a three-prong kind of like plug-in. Now they have that figure eight, uh, you know, port in the back to, to fit that type of cord or, or whatnot. Basically what's used on, um, I think the PS4 Slim, I believe the Xbox One S and possibly the X, I gotta check it. But um, So it is a port that's used on other consoles as well. But with changing the power supply, I don't know what they did or if they just lowered the fan speed or something like that. But um, the newer pros actually run hotter than the launch. Now, call me crazy. I would rather have uh, a louder fan with a cooler system than the opposite way around. I, I just know that heat and, uh, and electronics just don't mix. And I don't see why Digital Foundry is, like, praising this whole thing right now. Um, like I said, call me crazy. I, I just feel like I would rather have a louder system that was cooler than a hotter system that was, uh, that made less noise. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it could just be my opinion. I, I want you guys to hit up the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh... I, I think it was a crazy video. I have no idea. I have never seen Digital Foundry go in and try to rate kind of like those smaller uh, incremental upgrades between uh, systems. I, I've seen it, you know, over time on the 360. I've seen it even on the Xbox One. Uh, I do know that they come out with like little improvements. They don't really tell anybody, but if you check the, the number of the product you'll see a difference there and and they you know they kind of streamline the the internals um as as parts become cheaper stuff like that and and usually it's to kind of like uh make the the performance a little more stable all right it's you usually get some type of performance stability you know from getting these like little incremental upgrades to to the console so I have never seen them do this before. Not only that, it, it was a complete love fest for the PS4, as usual. Um, I know they couldn't help but talk about how great the Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, you know, game looked on the Xbox One X and how it performed and everything like that. And I think this might be the, their charity video to kind of give back to... Uh, a lot of the fans that they have gathered throughout this generation when they were talking about resolution and you know 1080p and 900p i mean they they gained a lot of subscribers and followers from really uh kind of like milking that goat dry per se so i i think this is one of those love letters back to them like hey we're still in your corner guys even though when it comes down to it um Yelling and screaming about uh, console preference, about your piece of plastic, is, is completely asinine. Uh, for people, I know my name is Xbot, but if people don't know, um, I, I talk about things that I feel should be talked about, alright? And, and when it comes down to it, I don't consider myself a quote-unquote fanboy or a diehard or something like that. Uh, like, I, I look at what's going on, and if I feel like something is uh, being said that that is not accurate in kind of like the gaming media industry or if i feel like a, a certain product is getting a bad rap and, and and people are fueling that for clicks and stuff like that i will talk against it it's what i'll do i do prefer to play on my xbox but that's not to say i'm like you know what i'm not touching anything else ever it's all about xbox until i die no i'm, I'm not like that uh i am a gamer um, there are certain things with the PS4. I did sell mine because uh, uh, certain situations, you know, certain things where I felt like I wasn't getting uh, the the return on the investment for the console that I was hoping for. I, I think uh, Spider-Man was the game that kind of like it was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Um, but when it when it all comes down to it, I, I'm not a just ride or die Xbox guy. And, and that's it. So I, I just want you know people to know that I thought Xbox was a cool name. 
when people were going around and trying to trying to trigger other gamers oh you're a pony oh well you're 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 an x bot and i'm like yo that actually sounds pretty cool so that's why i, I decided to uh use that name for youtube but um hit up the comment section i want to know what you guys think about you know what Digital Foundry is doing here and let me know your preference would you rather have a louder fan but a cooler console so this way your console doesn't like either overheat or when it gets to like starting to overheat you know shuts itself off or anything like that or, or would you rather have a higher temperature console but have the fans uh, be quieter I don't know let, let me know guys as usual if you like the topic if you like the gameplay definitely hit that thumbs up button for me if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe this is the channel it is the home of the next podcast which is a podcast that uh airs every saturday 7 p.m but not only that this is also a channel for live streams and gaming news videos uh you guys have a great day and thank you so much for hanging out and checking out this video hit up the comments i want to know what you think but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off trying to get demons up out of me turn to a beast eat your arteries deceasing opponents so properly unleashing the dark side what got to me we come to take this shit over